at Numerian Capital, we bring you the latest stock news each day. Please like and subscribe so we can bring these articles to you each day. Thank you. Today, September 21, 2023, New York Power Authority purchases Mullen vehicles. The EV startup still faces a credibility challenge. Shares of EV startup Mullen Automotive popped higher on choppy trading. Management announced that the New York Power Authority will purchase Mullen's cargo vans. Although the news encouraged Mullen stock bulls, investors have seen this story before. Following a brutally tough year in the capital market, electric vehicle manufacturer Mullen Automotive, NASDAQ MULN, provided some encouraging news. Early this morning, management announced that the New York Power Authority agreed to purchase the Mullen Campus Delivery Cargo Van. As a result, Mullen stock gained about 2% under choppy conditions. According to the company's press release, the New York Power Authority conducted an EV pilot program at the State Power Organization's Turbine Hydroelectric Facility in northern New York. Beginning on July 6 of this year, the 60-day program concluded earlier this month. As a result, the New York Power Authority decided to purchase the initial pilot vehicles for fleet operations at its St. Lawrence Franklin D. Roosevelt Power Project. Even more promising for Mullen stock, the organization is considering adding New York Power Authority locations for Mullen's full lineup of commercial EVs. This includes the automaker's electric powered Class 1 cargo vans and Class 3 cab chassis trucks. Fundamentally, what may have attracted the New York Power Authority toward the Mullen campus is its underlying mission purpose provide an efficient van for low speed, closed campus use. Leveraging the same DNA as the Mullen 1, its Class 1 commercial EV, engineers designed the campus for micro environments. Mullen stock has enticed investors before. Undoubtedly, Today's market news regarding Mullen stock symbolizes a significant step for the underlying enterprise. While the broader EV space offers significant upside opportunities, it's also incredibly competitive. That Mullen continues to bring substantive accomplishments to the table is noteworthy. However, just like a quarterback racking up passing yards in a desperate bid to get back into a lopsided game, it's not so much about putting points on the board. Rather, the concern centers on whether the latest development is enough to move the needle for Mullen stock. Below are some examples of significant Mullen news that failed to yield sustainably positive results. In early June 2022, Mullen CEO David Mitchery stated that he would reveal everything about an EV delivery to a Fortune 500 company. Although Mullen stock popped despite a lack of news, it continued on a downward trajectory. In September of last year, Mullen acquired a controlling interest in EV startup Bollinger Motors. Still, Mullen stock conspicuously fell shortly after the disclosure. In May of this year, Mullen announced receiving $263 million in purchase orders for its Class 1 and Class 3 vehicles from Randy Marion Automotive Group. However, shares fell despite the seemingly positive news. Last month, Mullen unveiled the completion of its first production vehicle, the Mullen 3. Although Mullen initially popped higher, the news so far failed to energize the security. With so many swings and misses, it's natural for investors to be skeptical about Mullen Automotive. Why it matters? As of this writing, tip ranks shows that no analyst covers Mullen stock. That's not surprising given the volatility, with shares losing over 99% since the January opener. Still, per Google Finance, Mullen's average trading volume stands at a staggering 88 million shares, revealing significant speculative interest. Thanks for watching.